Maldivian archipelago, a garland-shaped group of coral atolls, straddles the equator in the Indian Ocean. At the southernmost end of this archipelago lies the heart-shaped atoll known as Adu. Adu Atoll is landlocked with barrier reefs on the eastern and western rim, with narrow entry channels on the northern and southern ends. Each channel on either end is subdivided into two by an islet in the middle. The eastern and western rim of the atoll encompasses large islands, lagoons and islets. This arrangement and shape of the islands makes Adu Atoll a very good natural harbour, calm and safe year-round. On the western reef lies four of the atoll's six inhabited islands, including the capital, Hitadu as well as the airport on Gan Island, all linked by a 14-kilometer motorway, one of the longest in the Maldives. Situated in the middle of the southern entry channel, the resort island of Vilingili splits it into two smaller entryways, while the eastern half of the atoll includes the two disparate communities of Huladu and Midu, north of Heratera Island Resort. There is no written history of ancient Maldives, especially before the advent of Islam in the islands. Ruins of Buddhist stupas and monasteries were found in almost all the atolls of Maldives, including Adu. It is widely believed that all the islands of Maldives had Buddhist communities before being converted to Islam by Arab traders during the 12th century. Seafarers were familiar with Maldives islands more than 2,000 years ago. Traders from East Africa had anchored in Adu Atoll for water and firewood on their long voyage to Sumatra. These Arabs sometimes stayed back and even married women from Adu. Islam was introduced to Adu and other islands of the Maldives by these Arab traders. According to local folk tales, Aduans were the first Maldivians to convert to Islam. The Muslim cemetery known as Koganu in Midu, island of Adu, is the oldest in the country, and the first Muslims of Maldives were buried there. A thousand years after Adu's important position on international trade routes had attracted Buddhist communities and Arab traders, British forces also recognized the area's strategic importance during World War II. In order to keep other foreign interventions at bay, Britain had assumed protectorate status over the Maldives in 1887. And between 1941 and 1946, Adu Atoll became the Allied forces' secret Indian Ocean base Port T. Eleven years later, the British were to return to Adu, with islanders once again relocating, as Gan became home to the Royal Air Force staging post between 1957 and 1976. The presence of the base had a profound impact on local life as well as local politics. Living standards for Aduans had risen rapidly. Mm -hmm. 
Soon after Royal Air Force left Gan in 1976, the island's existing facilities were transformed into a domestic airport and garment factories. Adu is one of the most developed atolls in the Maldives, with infrastructure from British times being complemented by more recent projects. The iconic Adu Link Road connects more people than any other in the atolls. While improvements to Gan International Airport and the Atoll Seaport are transforming the atoll into a regional transport hub. Despite its official city status and its relatively large population of 33,000, Adu maintains the laid-back feel of a tropical island. The traditional jolly reclining chairs, the swaying palm trees and sandy roads help give a timeless quality to what are in fact rapidly modernizing communities. If there are two things that have made life possible on tiny islands such as Adu, one is tuna and the other coconut. No wonder that Maldivian cuisine consists mainly of imaginatively spiced, dried and prepared combinations of the two. Adu's specialities include Adu Bendi, a sweet meat made using cooked coconut palm sap and kernel of tender coconut. Another Adu speciality that can be found nowhere else is the unique dialect. The Maldivian language called Divehi has its roots in ancient Sinhalese, with elements of Pali, Sanskrit, Arabic, Urdu, and English. Divehi is considered to be the southernmost Indo-Aryan language in the world. And the local Aduan version, known simply as Adu Bas, is its most southerly dialect. Two Bahaki, Dehera de Hang Abyss Atari Bak in Bernum Garabano, Adivara Paso, Bala Atriba. Two Baki, Deva Bahum Bakadaka, Bernon Nicara, Kitten Bibahaki Bevara Musaliba. Surrounding and embedded within the unique culture of Adu is the atoll's breathtaking natural environment. In a country not well known for its terrestrial wildlife, Adu boasts the Maldives' most impressive array of bird life particularly in the Hitadu protected area. 570 hectares of open water lake, coral reefs, seagrass beds, mudflats, mangroves, and forests. The skies over the islands are a constant hive of activity, as the looming wingspan of giant fruit bats contrast with the flutter of the white tern, known locally as Dondini, a protected species in Maldives, found only in Adu and one other island to the north. But it is the waters surrounding the islands that Maldives is perhaps better known for, and Adu's calm lagoon and pristine corals offer an unparalleled range of marine life. Maldives is home to more than a thousand reef fish species and Adu's reefs have largely avoided severe coral bleaching events of recent decades. The northern channel, Ma Kandu, is known for its manta ray cleaning point, where these majestic creatures can be spotted all year round, and the surrounding waters are also frequented by turtle and shark populations. It is this natural beauty for which the Maldives has become synonymous over the years. Indeed, the rise of tourism has undoubtedly changed the fortunes of the Maldives. 
transforming a fishing nation into a middle-income luxury destination. There are two tourist resorts islands in Adu and a hotel in Gan Island. A number of guest houses are being opened in inhabited islands. Infrastructure and an experienced workforce make the atoll ideally place to flourish. Itadu Seaport is one of only three official points of entry for ships arriving in Maldives. While regular weekly flights from Sri Lanka operate to Gan International Airport, the airport's recent $45 million upgrade means the facility can now cater to commercial airliners of all sizes, and the new seaplane terminal will bring more than a dozen southern resorts within reach of Adu. Fishing is still referred to as the lifeblood of the country, though its economic importance is less crucial than it once was. However, fish still make up 99% of the Maldives' exports, with more than a third coming from the three southernmost atolls. Work is currently underway to build a fish processing plant on the island of Midu. Adu's large islands also provide ample opportunities in the agriculture and energy sectors, with civic authorities working closely to support local projects, such as the award-winning Adu High School Sustainable Energy Project. The Adu Midu Cooperative Society supplies more than 40 types of locally grown fruit and vegetables to resorts. Demonstrating the potential of agricultural projects on large fertile islands of the south. Addu is a beautiful tropical island destination with a unique charm and flavors. We have a long and insightful history which we are very proud of. We have an eager and educated young population taking Addu to a brighter, sustainable future. With the development of Gain International Airport, our dreams of making Addu City the southern hub of Maldives is becoming a reality. More opportunities for investments and businesses are opening. More and more visitors are coming to Addu every year. Addu is a romantic getaway. Addu is a place for the adventurers. It has magical underwater kingdom for scuba divers. It offers delicious local cuisine for food lovers. But most of all, the welcoming spirit of the people and the genuine hospitality is what truly makes Saddu the southern heart of Maldives. Adu's vast development potential completes the picture of a place that simply has to be seen to be believed. With a future as bright as an equatorial sunrise, a place of culture, history, and nature, of sun, sea, and stories in the middle of the Indian Ocean. From the very ancient days, Aduans are very pleasant and hospitable people. They welcome visitors with an open heart, provided them with the best of everything available. Experience this hospitality by visiting Adu. You can fly to Adu from anywhere in the world, and the locals are waiting to welcome you with a smile. See you soon.